Games 305E. We are now in Season 5 of MC Nostalgia. We are here in my new world. And to make it similar, I put in a C called Red Gamer 75, my username. My skin, the skin change has started, but nothing is different yet. We are here in the new world. I can't believe those that the world that blown up and it so remember red signs and th they've exiled me in this world. Now we're in Bay 1.8.1 and we're going to stay in this world for the rest of the series. We're going to stay in Bay 1.8.1 until the skin change is complete. Who knows how many episodes that's going to take. And then after that, each update will be 12 episodes after that. the fourth world in my series. Because my right now my skin is absolutely no difference yet, but keep an eye on it, it will change. Keep an eye on it, it won't be static. I don't want to be cutting down trees all day. But I might have to for this episode. should make an axe but I don't really like one tools like I say in episode 30 if my world was not blown up in my previous episode I would have stayed in that world anyway This version, Bay 1.1, is known as the Adventure Update. Adds a lot of new stuff, such as the Hunger Bar, Food, Nail Stack. Um, you have to eat to survive, as you can see. That, see? Because if that Hunger Bar reaches zero, I'll just starve to death. They've added a Creative Mode in this version. That's right, this has creative mode now. But I decided not to do the rest of the series on that mode because I think it's a little bit cheaty. Yeah, that's going to be cheating a little bit. They've added a lot of more structures such as villages, mine shafts, stronholds, ravines. And I think by this update the never have net never fortresses right now. No magma cubes or blazes yet. However, I'm deciding not to visit the never until the skin change is finished. However, I can make the never portal, and, but I'll not visit it until that skin process is complete. Oh, this is the first update where we can do that. So much faster. I skipped the two 1.8 pre-releases because 
Those pre-releases are too unstable. I can't use them. Because I can't get the furnaces to work without it crashing. Am I even playing on hard? Oh yes, I am. Got some hunger bows and dropping. What else playing on? Peaceful for a moment. Oh yeah, I found coal. I found some coal, I found some coal. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Can't really see. I think I might turn my brightness up. Oh, there we go. Because before this update, you can't do that. At least I'll be able to make the pumpkin farms now. Because I was trying to make one in an earlier episode, a few episodes ago, but because I was in beta 1.7.3, I couldn't do it. Sorry I couldn't do the 1.8 pre-releases because they're not stable enough for me to use in this series. Now the beta 1.9 pre-releases, there were six of them, which became 1.0.0. I will be using those because they're, they're not too bad to use. They're stable enough to use. Did I grab my crafting table? No, I didn't. Now, the thing about choosing to end this series on um, 1.0.0 or not, or it depends on how successful this world will be going. And swap this this new biome such as swamps and that. However, I decide not to leave in a swamp because in the next patch, Bay 1.9 Pro Release 1, they changed the grass to dark green and I don't want to do that I'll have to start another new world if this happens and I don't want to I like this world I know we're missing the new my, the one in season 2, 3 and 4 but it was blown up so I was exiled here F3 plus H which shows the doability. Can't do it yet. No breaking tool sound yet. Of course there's you can find a village in here but there's no people living in them yet. Also in this version, there's no snow biomes. The snow biomes have been removed. They're not in again until the next version. I might have to build a new house. My my previous words were a little bit plain, so hopefully I'll be building a lot more stuff in this world. More yeast. Might as well cut down more trees. Make a few 
torches. Let's make a stack. Because in case if I make a new mob system. And it's getting dark already. The reason why I kept skipping the night in my proof was because it was too dark. Hopefully I turned the brightness up so I can actually fight now. Gotta grab all this and survive my first night. Now, what type of house do I want in this world? Well... Well... I built my house on the beach in my first world of the world. And in my world that I was previously in, I was built underground. And what else should I build in this world? Gonna make a sword. Why isn't my hunger system dropping? Hmm. Start killing some monsters. Owned. Oh, as you can see, there's an experience bar, which means I can get levels from killing monsters now. You can't get experience from mining ores yet. Oh, and we found a ravine. I may want to explore that later. There's a sheep, but don't have any shears yet. So I can't. Might um, get the wool off. Well, I could by killing it, but it only gives me one. It gives me a lot more if I shear it. And it can regrow it. Hmm, it's a bug. So, gotta do this, make it fall down, this one's already missing a piece of wood. A skeleton. There it is. Get out of here. That's a trail of dunga, but he was so slow. Oh dear. This can't be good. Gotta get out of here. 
I gotta get out. It's not safe. Anyway. Don't have a bed to sleep in. Might make a bridge across. There we go. More coal. Oh god, not another skeleton. Another skeleton. Gotta get out of here. And another zombie. Well, let's see, that's the first zombie I've seen in this world. Actually. Except my level didn't go up because experience isn't in yet. There's no enchanting tables yet. And no brewing stands. There are strongholds, but no end portals. I don't even know if we're able to even get into the end in this series. So when we reach 1.0.0, I'm probably going to, you know... Keep staying that patch until I manage to kill that ender dragon, and that's how I might end that series. Don't know. This place is huge. Yeah, that's really bad. I shouldn't eat that. Shouldn't eat rotten flesh. Because it can give you food poisoning. Raw chickens can do it as well, but rotten flesh has an even higher chance of doing it. I thought I was able to kill it without getting hit, but no, I did. That's my coordinates. Okay. So, this might be where I call home on the top of this mountain I could build my house on top of here here's where I call home first I gotta kill this zombie first <laughs> Two more zombies. More rotten flesh. See, let's build it on the bottom of the mountain. Gotta kill this creeper first. Finding more zombies than any other mobs. Skeleton. The sun's coming up at least. How am I going to find my way back? No, wrong way. Right way. I think I went this way. Well, there's another tree with a missing bit of wood. I shouldn't cut that down. I should be going to get my stuff. I remember correctly I went this way. 
remember? Boom. Yeah, that's probably where I went. my experience. This oh yeah, 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 there they are. It's my stuff. All oh, the monsters must have burned in the daylight. The skin was actually supposed to change right now, but they made it so it goes very slowly. Can't why this? Yeah, that's why. I think I'll keep this large tree here. Well, anyway, I, I'll probably build my house off screen. I will probably see all of you in the next episode. Big game soon for a sign off. Watch me.